What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a really useful video for you if you're like me and you struggle with connecting and disconnecting your audio hardware between startups etc etc and your PC decides hey now's a better time than any to default to your monitor even though you may or may not have sound there. So for example looking at my playback devices you can see I have one two screens over here and usually a third one but that's not popping up and of course I do have a headphone plug inside of my screen but some of you have speakers etc etc and you may be incredibly annoyed with these existing. If I go ahead and enable them you can see it sets them as default automatically which is incredibly annoying if it does this every time you disconnect and reconnect your headphones for example. How exactly do you get rid of these? Well the simplest way and probably the easiest way is to right click and click a disable on all of your screens as such. If you don't see them after you disable them, you can simply right click anywhere and hit show disabled devices. Of course, if you uncheck it, you won't see the disabled screen devices anymore. But here they are over here. Now, of course, that's okay if you're just gonna disable them temporarily, but usually when you update your graphics card drivers, these can automatically turn back on and be set as the default. Now, of course, because both of my screens don't have speakers in them, they only have the headphone jack in them, this is incredibly annoying because I will literally never use them. So, what's the easiest way to get rid of these audio devices for my screens entirely? Well, assuming that you have an NVIDIA graphics card, the easiest way to get around this is to go ahead and download the latest version of the drivers. Not only are you updating your graphics card drivers to the latest version, but you're also permanently removing those, of course, until you choose to re-enable them. I've downloaded the latest graphics driver over here. I'll hit OK, wait for it to extract. Then once you get to the screen over here, I usually click the second option so I don't install GeForce Experience, but of course, you can choose either of these. I'll click Agree and Continue, and then make sure you click on Custom and not Express. Next. And then over here, I'm going to uncheck HD audio driver so that just the graphics driver and the physics is checked. Of course, if it's already installed as it is here, simply unchecking it and hitting next will make sure to uninstall the audio driver. However, if this doesn't happen, you can reopen the screen and click perform a clean install. Note that that wipes all of your settings for everything, I'm pretty sure. But of course, the option is there. So graphics driver and physics are checked. I'll go ahead and hit next and wait for this to install. Because I'm reinstalling my graphics drivers, I won't be able to film this part. However, I'll start recording right after the drivers have installed. And there we have it. I've finished installing my graphics drivers. And as you can see, it says status, not selected for the GeForce experience and the HD audio driver. Now, of course, I'll have to restart my computer. If I go ahead and right click on my speaker in the taskbar, open sound settings, sound control panel, you can see that over here, I currently have the show disabled on and my screens are no longer registered on this list, which is great. That's exactly what I wanted. Now that I've done this after a simple restart, I won't be bothered with my pesky computer reconnecting to my screen's audio when there is in fact nothing plugged into them because that can get crazy annoying if every single time I unplug and plug in my headset, it changes to a different device automatically. Of course, setting default and disabling works well, but is not permanent. The second method that I showed in this video, reinstalling the graphics driver, doesn't only give you the benefit of updating your video graphics hardware, but it allows you to permanently disable your screen's audio entirely. Of course, if you're using an AMD graphics card instead of Nvidia, you'll have to go ahead and download that. And I'm not entirely sure of the process because I've never owned a AMD graphics card myself. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.